All right. Now, let me welcome Katerina Yaffe Larden. Is that how you pronounce your name, Larden? Hello. Exactly. Hi. Okay. And you are the founder and CEO of Hey Honey, which is a skincare line. I actually used the lip balm all weekend. It's delicious. Amazing. And uh, and your stuff can be found at heyhoney.com, as well as on Amazon, Ulta Beauty, QVC, and a bunch of other places. So first off, before we even get into what Hey Honey is, how did you become a skincare person? Like, was this always your thing or? It was not. You know, I, I was in a completely different business. I was in an um, advertising agency uh, business and it just, it came out of my own need for simplicity. I felt like mm-hmm. everything else was so complex and I needed simplicity, at least in my skin routine. And I couldn't keep with any of the brands that I've tried. I couldn't do anything. So I... I thought, let's do something that's new. And as you know, new things are hard to do, but it's the only thing worth doing, right? So that's how we right. got into this. So in other words, you so you were doing advertising for like a big company, like you were writing ads or copy or coming up with stuff for other brands? Yes, exactly. I was doing this with my husband for 14 years. Uh, we had an online agency. We did campaigns for other brands. We did a lot of skincare, but we also did a lot of cars and post office and banks and, you know, all kinds of brands. And it was always nice to have the recognition of doing that, but it, it never, it's never yours. I wanted something mine. I want something that sticks with me. Right. You wanted something that you cared about. Yes. But then to go to skin, I feel like, because I know with entrepreneurship, there's all different kinds of things people can do. So they can, you know, and, and different businesses are harder to launch. And one of the tougher ones to launch is skincare because everything has to be FDA approved and there's like sort of right. strict standards. Right. So how, how did you think you would be able to sort of like do that so, you know I think if I I I probably didn't think back then because probably then I wouldn't have done that but um I moved to the U.S. Um, about eight years ago and I had this mm-hmm. game while I was packing I put all these products that I bought and never used in a trash can because they expired and I calculated yes. the amount of money that I spent on all of them and I figured I need to find the reason of why I didn't use them Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I realized it just didn't work for me. It wasn't simple enough. It wasn't fast enough. The results were not there. And I wanted instant result. Everything else, like, you know, I have two kids. I have two dogs. I have two cats. I have a husband. I have a life. I have a business. I've always right. had a business. I just wanted something to fit into all that without me having to stop and do a 45-minute routine morning and night. And I just didn't right. find that. So I kind of just jumped into this and probably without overthinking it. But it worked. And just, right. You just said, <laughs> right. No, no, no. Clearly it worked. And you have a you have a big following. People love your products. And they also love them because they're 100% cruelty free. Yes. You're part of PETA's Project Beauty Without Bunnies. I'm right. a fan of PETA. I don't eat meat. So am I. Um, I don't either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, so I love that they're, that the, this stuff is cruelty free. Uh, Thrive Global has talked about you being a female innovator driving the natural beauty movement. And so what does natural beauty mean to you? So we are actually um, clean beauty, which is a little bit different than okay. natural. And a lot of people kind of confuse okay. between the two because not all natural means good, but clean okay. means good. So okay. there are a lot of natural resources that are actually um, not available for you or you're actually doing worse, um, you know, for the for our planet by using them. Um, but clean beauty means that you can have some things that are not some ingredients that are not necessarily natural, but they're really good for you. And that's okay. what we are. So the whole brand is um, clean. Most of the brand is also natural, but this is not the hat that we're wearing. Um, some things okay. that we, we just need to sub them to get better results. Um, and, right. and clean to me means things that are not harmful to humans, to the planet, to, to animals, to anything. Right. Right. Um, and you can feel completely uh, free to use them, you know, on your face without double thinking. And, and, you know, a lot of people are actually really allergic to natural ingredients. So sometimes yes. all natural doesn't mean that you're not going to get rush or, you know, allergies or any kind of reaction out of it. Right. And so, and clean could also mean that it has beneficial 
supplement or beneficial something within exactly. it that exactly. might not be considered quote unquote natural, but it's not toxic. It's it, not a bad. It's actually a, a good uh, non-natural ingredient for you. But our whole line okay. is infused with honey and propolis, which are um, two major ingredients that we use across the line. And they're both, of course, natural. They have endless list of properties to both of them. Um, the propolis goes back to centuries um, uh, to being a natural antibiotics um, and antiseptic. It's known to renew cells growth faster. Mm -hmm. um, it has so mm -hmm. many great properties and honey is kind of, you know, everybody knows it's good. <laughs> it's amazing. It has um, right. well, outstanding honey is very properties. Good. Yeah. Well, people talk about that, that honey as a, as a food is a very healthy meant to sugar but of the sugars it's a very because it has minerals and it has things in it that are that are body beneficial but uh this line is it good if you have problem skin like who is hey honey good for like who does it mostly benefit so really the 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 real answer to this is anyone from 16 to 80 i love hearing our customers say and it's very common for them to comment on our um, instagram page that i'm using this my daughter is using this and my mother is using this and i love this and my husband is using this um the technology that we have is self-adjusting that means that you don't have to define yourself by one skin type which it used to be you mm -hmm. know like when we asked back in the days so what skin type do you have and say oh my skin is dry or my skin is oily <laughs> it is not like right. that anymore i don't feel it's like that because my skin is dry and oily and and um acting sometimes and you know it has all these conditions and it changes as i move through the day it changes by the climate it changes when i'm flying in or out of a city so um, this, the skincare, the whole, the product, the whole line is adjusting to your needs. So a lot of the products you can use, um, you know, the whole year round, you can build whatever you want around that, but your core products would still be there. And it really is amazing for everyone. Now, men love our products because honey is very soothing. It's, um, yes. you know, antibacterial. So a lot of uh, men after shaving um, um, have all kinds of after shaving issues and most of the products are amazing for that um, just using the honey and the propolis properties for that right and so even you have things that have retinol like you have an eye mask that I think I have to try that oh it's you like have it's to try eye... this right I think I have to get this because I, it, I, I like anything around the eyes the older we get I feel like our eyes I know, always the I know. biggest problem we have. It's experience um, marks, right? Something like that. Yeah. Something <laughs> like that. Experience marks. It's a lovely way to look at it, Katerina. Um, no, but I, I'm always looking for eye creams and eye boosters and things. You know, I love color science makes great eye care and eye block and stuff. And I'm always looking for stuff under that, like to add more stuff so that's the great thing about the products yeah, so because they're all one. multitasking and um yeah. because i need simplicities this it's an eye mask but it's leave on eye mask so you don't have downtime you don't have to sit there with you know something that has to dry and right. then you take it off and put something else you literally apply it and you either go to bed or you go for your day and um you're set yeah but it's still an eye mask yeah that's so nice I like that. And, uh, and it looks like you have everything, you've stuff for the body, you have stuff for the face and you like you, it, the website is broken down that like, if you have dry skin or if you have oily skin or you want stuff for anti-aging, you could set up, you could sort of mix and match. Yes, you can. And most of the products would go into more than one category because like I said, they are multitasking, for example, our good morning. Um, and also the names are pretty simple. So you don't have to think twice what you're getting. The name can refer to, you know, it's a morning serum, right? So it's a morning serum and yes. under makeup primer. So you get the two in one. So you can put that and run out the door like I do and finish your makeup in the car. Um, you can, um, um, you can use products like 24 seven, which is a moisturizer, but it's eyes, neck and face. So I feel that it's yeah. a great solution for people that travel a lot, right? Because you don't want to carry five different products with you. And it's day that's and right. night. No, that's great. So all right. of them are I'd like that. Like that's why you would only, find them. Yeah, exactly. You would find them in yeah. different categories, just being there because they're doing all these things. And yes, anti-aging right. is a big category. I feel that if, you know, th with the right ingredients, if you treat your skin right, all products can be anti-aging. You just need to use them correctly and, and actually yeah. use them. <laughs> 
How hard was it to launch this business? How long how long has Hey Honey been around? Since 2014. Um, okay. I would say, you know, it's hard because it's a new business and you never know what you're facing. Challenges every day. I think it's even harder uh, because at the end of the day, you make sacrifices. Um, as much as mm-hmm. I'm trying not to do with my own family and... You know, the kids know that mommy and daddy are working and they're working a lot. (laughs) And um, I waited quite a while before having kids. So that's kind of a sacrifice for, you know, for just being a working mom. But but overall, I think if you put things in perspective and you don't, you know, you put limits to yourself and you enjoy the time at home, you enjoy the time with the kids, you kind of try to put everything in the right place and switch Mm -hmm. on and off that little fuse in your mind then it's not terribly hard. You just Mm -hmm. really need to want it. And I really wanted to make that change. I really wanted to touch people in that little way of helping them with small things in life. Which, uh, right, which is very nice. It's not that small a thing. I think if you make your skin feel better, you feel better. And I agree. But, you know, when I compare it to life-saving doctors and, you know, sure. things like that, they do amazing sure. things. Um, right. This is small, but it's making a change. And it's mm-hmm. um, it's actually helping people feel better about themselves. So that's my little victory. And you also are an advocate for battered women, right? And you yes. do a lot of philanthropy. So talk about that a little bit. How, what got you involved in that? So it's always has been around for me for just wanting to help the next generation. And I think helping the next generation is through their mothers. Um, you know, it's an endless cycle. It's a very vicious cycle. It's it's not a nice thing to see. And when women are in a weak position, when we, they are in a house that they shouldn't be in, when they're getting abused, when they're getting... Um, they feel like they're they don't they're nothing that they don't exist um it is affecting their kids and Mm -hmm. we're growing another generation and it goes like that for many generations and i think that's the saddest thing so to take a woman out of this abusive house and put her somewhere safe with her kids and give the those kids and her a better chance in life or a second chance in life i think is super important and you know, there there are so many things that I want to do. I want to help animals. I want, you know, I want to be involved in every way, but I have to choose the one that speaks to me the most. And this mm-hmm. is it. I think that I, you know, with me, I want to leave a better world for my kids. And I think that's a little step uh, for me into doing that. Yes. Yeah. No, I would agree with you. I think, yeah, if you help moms, they have an easier time raising their kids. Yes. And then their kids are in the power. Better people and yeah. have more chance in life, I think so. Yeah. What is your beauty routine every day? Like what do you have what do you what do you use? How much time do you spend? I because sp- that's the other thing. I think the multitasking is important exactly. because of the multi product because who has that much time? Like I wash my face in the shower, I moisturize a little sunblock, I'm out the door. Same thing. I mean, I, I really don't spend much time on my skincare and a lot of it is done when I'm on my way somewhere. Um, you know, I'm not the type of person that will take bubble bath for 45 minutes. I just don't have the time. I prefer to do other things. Um, and I also don't do three masks a week and I, I just don't. And that's why with with the products that I'm using, I'm using the good morning in the morning after I wash my face, I put the good morning and that's it for me. I don't use anything else. I go out the door, you know, I put my makeup on and, and a little bit of makeup and that's it and at night it really depends like once every other week I will have some free time so I'll put a mask while I'm doing something else and then it's fun right then it's like relaxing and I'm done and then I use it 24 7 at night to just give an extra boost of um you know of vitamins to myself and the only thing that I would add is our 911 pro gel when I feel that my skin is not um, right when it's you know it's suffering and I'm breaking out or then I would just use the 911 at night better. and and I feel better and yeah. I wake up in the morning and I'm all good to go <laughs> yeah no and I think that's it's it's quick and it works and it makes you feel good and it also spells really good all of it is very um it's a very lightly scented 
product. You don't. It's not overwhelming at all. Right, because it was important to us to have this really work for everyone, for people that can't、mm-hmm. stand the heavy smell. I mean, for men that don't want to touch products that are too feminine.、Uh, I think the look and feel of the products and the scent of them, and and you know the the sensation that they leave you with. It's not greasy. You can walk out the door right away. I think it works for most people that like、yeah. that on the go.、Um, you know, skincare. I、um, as I was saying, I've used the lip balm. And I like that very much. And I thought it was,、um, I like it. You could put it on top of anything. You、right. put it under your lips, then put your lip stuff on,、right. or you put it over your lips.、Uh, over, and we always want, like, I always need like a lip balm that's a little has a little shine and that's not sticky. I hate anything sticky. I cannot、Ex- use exactly. I'm the same way. Even with my skincare,、yeah. I can't if it's not cannot going, be sticky. No, it、yeah. cannot. <laughs> no, uh-uh, I can't. I freak out. Like that's I'm not. You know, and the cleansers are gentle. They are. They're very gentle. We have uh, um, the foam cleansers, and they wash off really nice. And even the body products, which usually are a little bit stickier or heavier or not,、um, or f- a walk the walk foot cream. Once you use it, you can put your shoes right on and just walk out. You're not going to slide off of your shoes, which happened to me a lot when I got pedicures and I couldn't walk for ten minutes. You know. Yeah.、Um, this、I、is not doing that.、Are. And this will help my heels if、yes. you put it on and put on a pair of socks and go to bed. Yes, not because of us, because of the propolis in it. The propolis is just amazing for healing and repairing your skin. And、um, I promise you, and let me know if it worked for you. Use it for three nights and tell me what and it is. I mean, it will be、right. amazing. They feel they yeah they feel totally different.、Um, that you know that would be great because we all that's the other thing that happens when you get older, like your heels crack.、Oh, tell、it's、me about so, it,、oh、especially when I live in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Florida or here, I mean, the minute the weather changes,、uh-huh. it's like no matter you know, there's like, like、no、one week. Do,、yeah. when it's, no matter what you do, it's、right. an unbelievable thing. Well, thank you very much. It's um, it's a pretty line, and I'm sure it's going to continue to do well. I like things that are clean and and certainly that are ethically made because I, you know, I don't believe in testing on animals and. Thank you、stuff. so much for having、yeah. me. It was、Appreciate、a pleasure. Appreciate that you do that. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for being on my、thank、show.、You.